Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. If you are interested in Blender 3D at all, then you probably already know that Blender 2.9 is out. And as always, it comes packed with a bunch of cool new features. Let me show you two of these new features in this video here. And yes, the title already revealed it. First, let's take a look at Eevee's Motion Blur. Shift A and I add in an icosphere to my scene. Let's keep this one simple. I scale it down a bit and to play around with motion blur, hey, we first need some motion, right? So let me quickly dial in some numbers here and add a couple of keyframes. Cool. And now I just stop the animation and render my frame. And at first it seems like nothing has changed. This is the exact same result that we got in earlier EV versions. But motion blur needs to be activated first. You'll find it under the rendering properties down here. But before I change anything here, let me quickly render this scene again and boom, there we have our motion blur. Before, after. Cool, right? Let's now take a quick look at the settings that we got. With the shutter you can increase or decrease the amount of blur. By default it's set to 0.5. Let's change it to 0.1 for example, render again and we have less shutter than before. You see? Next up we have background separation. That is pretty self-explanatory I would say. If your background bleeds into the foreground, you can reduce that right here. Max Blur defines the distance a pixel can spread over. Let's say I type in 0 here and render my scene again. Then the pixels are not able to spread at all and we lose our motion blur effect basically. So let me set this back to the default of 32. And last but not least, steps. This increases the quality of your motion blur, but also the render time. So if you're just rendering out one single image, then why not go crazy here? But be careful if you're rendering out a whole animation with lots and lots of frames. And that's all I have to say about the motion blur for right now. It's super easy to use, just try it out for yourself. But in the beginning I said that I want to talk about two new features today and this second thing I want to show you has nothing to do with cool new effects, it's more like a workflow improvement. And it's got to do with the modifiers. Let me quickly add an array here and dial in some numbers, just like this. Okay, we can now use Shift D to duplicate our modifier, just like we're used to in Blender, right? With X we can delete modifiers, A opens and closes these panels here, and Shift or Command A applies them. Isn't that cool? <laughs> but my favorite new thing, let me quickly Close them and add one more modifier. This one. We can now freely move these modifiers. No more fiddling around with these small arrows that we had in earlier versions. I just like this implementation way better. Way better. And we're used to it. Let's say from the render properties, for example. All right, and that's it. Just two of the many cool new functions in Blender 2.9. And let me say thank you at this point to all the developers working on this amazing tool. I really think that you guys do an amazing job. That's it. And thanks to you too for watching this video and for subscribing maybe. Why not? <laughs> All 
Thank you all a lot. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.